Hi guys, this is Mark from Color Change Works. So I hope that you well. Uh, what is weight loss about? Commented on ranting around the world video a little while ago that I made, and he's put on a number of uh, questions and suggestions regarding some other topics to be discussed. And here is another one. I have already responded to one of these, and this one is another one. As with the previous um, video, I'm going to suggest that you go and check out his channel, What Is Weight Loss About? He gives good information, there's some fantastic videos on exercises in order to lose weight and get healthier and fitter, leaner and so on and so forth. Subscribe to his channel as well as do the YouTube admin on this one, you know, the subscribe, share, comment, you know, you know what I'm on about, you know, it's stuff, hey. Eh? Any case, he asks this question, why do people engage in behaviors, rituals, um, philosophies, you know, that kind of stuff, uh, when we may not necessarily understand everything, such as religion, I can't remember the exact question, but that's pretty much what he's asking, why do people engage in these things when they don't understand everything, and my answer is simply this. When you listen carefully to what people are saying and particularly how they go about saying what they're saying, you will hear quite a number of things. Uh, summed up it is simply this, a lot of people say that they want peace of mind. Uh, okay, so they want peace of mind. Uh, so maybe they engage in activities to get peace of mind. Maybe they want to do things that is beyond themselves, um, kind of out here to generate a peace of mind. It might be that. Personally, I don't think it is. Um, when you look further, you will hear people talk about um, they want to be loved and belong. And there's this ownership element that a lot of people want because of potentially they've been abandoned by a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a mom or a dad or whatever the case might be, some really close person to them when they were younger, let's pretend uh, they've left them alone or abandoned them. So they want that belonging element and they searching for this. I don't think that that is the answer either. My answer is simply this, whatever they are searching for, there's the clue, whatever they are searching for is a result that leads to peace of mind, that leads to belonging, that leads to acceptance and so on and so forth. And what I believe it is, everybody's looking for is this thing called hope. Everybody's looking for hope, at least I think so. And I explain it in this way. We are a body, a person that's got skin and bones, who possesses a soul, which in my mind is the um, thinking element, you know, the behaviors, the unconscious mind, all that kind of carry on. Um, that is the soul element of our triune being, as I understand and believe. And then also I believe that we consist of a spiritual element which I believe has been put in our little makeup as people by the Creator. And we can develop our bodies by going to the gym and eating healthy and all this kind of stuff in order to get better at what we are and who we are and how we go about things. We can develop our soul by becoming socially aware, become, you know, get emotional intelligence, you know, all that kind of carry on. We can go and educate ourselves and stuff like this. We can go and search and develop that. But these are all internal stuff. And then the thing that is kind of slightly set apart is the spiritual element. Where the words love and hope and peace, uh, tranquility, those kind of spiritual base words as I call them comes from and there's a lot of people who are searching for hope 
and the journey to discover peace of mind and acceptance and love and belonging search from uh, stem from a place of hope I hope that I can be loved I hope I can accept and give love I hope to get peace of mind I hope that my stress and anxiety will reduce I hope things will get better so when you listen to that there's a lot of hope that is needed in the world and we can't get hope from textbooks we don't we don't get it from university or college courses we don't get that from eating healthy or not eating healthy we don't get it from there we get it from another place and that place is in the spiritual realm now it spiritual realm seems a little bit bizarre but here we go you see I believe everybody has a spiritual element now whether you choose to follow the Christian doctrine or whether you are Luciferian or whether you are Islam or whether you believe in the moon as the solar system God thing it's all out there in the spiritual realm and I believe the spiritual world is a far more powerful than the one that we live in the physical one. And so our journey to search leads us to the place where we engage in things that we might not necessarily understand because it is beyond us. It's beyond our comprehension. Our thinking can't stretch that far. But in the spiritual world, it is an elastic band that can stretch for miles and miles and miles and I think what happens is we want to search more about who we are we want to discover what we're about we want to find out what our role is in the world and we can't do it in the natural we've got to do it in the supernatural hence people go out to the Himalayas the Amazon they go to some isolated place in the middle of nowhere to quote I need to discover myself and I suppose that is where it all comes from, in the hope of finding me, in the hopes of finding what I am and what I'm about and all these kind of things. That, in essence, Simon, I believe is why we engage in things. Now, I can't turn around and say, you better follow my way because my way might not resonate with the next door neighbor because their situation and circumstances their beliefs and cultures and traditions is different to mine my encouragement would simply be go out and find yourself and go on that journey whether it be a physical journey whether it be an emotional journey a psychological journey or whether it be a spiritual journey go out and find who you are what you're about what motivates you and what role you play in the universe and you will then I believe discover this thing called hope which leads to peace of mind happiness and all the other stuff that are out there so summed up we engage because we're on a journey in order to discover something in order to experience something else those three elements is why I believe we engage in the supernatural I hope that answers many questions for you who are listening to this particular video and I hope it also sparks you to do something about your journey maybe of self-discovery of or other things who knows it doesn't matter but enjoy the journey and discover the benefits of who you are Okay, my friend, this is, the, this is it for this particular video. I will make some more in line with some of the suggestions that Simon or What Is Weight Loss About has posted, and I will do my best to answer those as thoroughly as I possibly can. But for now, this is Mark from Colors Change Works. Please remember to share, subscribe, you know, all the YouTube item stuff, and I'll speak to you soon.